love my music references. It's Boxy versus Ipsy. I'm sitting here getting a little tipsy. <laughs> Didn't know I could rhyme, did you? Oh yeah. As you see, we're doing our monthly Boxy Charm versus Ipsy. And I won't sing to you again, but if you like that kind of content, make sure you stay tuned. Welcome, beautiful people. So glad you're here. If you're new, thank you for stopping by. If you're returning, I do appreciate your continued love and support. As you see, we're doing our monthly, so this would be April, a little behind, sorry, but April's uh, Boxy versus Ipsy comparison. So if you like that kind of content, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe down below, turn on all notifications that we are loaded on my content most Wednesdays and all Saturdays at 9 a.m. So we're gonna go ahead and get right into April's monthly comparison. And again, sorry, it's a little delayed but it's just been a little crazy here at my household so thanks for staying tuned all right so as we always do let's start with boxy charm so boxy charm i did get the base box which is 25 dollars and it's not quite time for my quarterly one or actually i think maybe i just had a quarterly one anyways yeah so but yeah so it's a base box 25 dollars i did get to pick one item which i don't think this month i did but for the next one i did actually pick so the theme this month is sweet treats there's a little card, it's cute. My code is at the bottom here, which I will insert as I usually do, just because it's a long number now. And we're gonna just jump right into this. As I had expected or suspected because of a group I'm in, which kind of gave it away. First item here is a Natasha Denona palette. Now, palettes that are in these boxes are not new. They're not brand new unless it states specifically. But the one I got is the more neutral tone one called Ayana. The only reason I know like, Kind of what is when I heard that I started doing some research because I wanted to you know get a little info the deets on these so this one again is a neutral palette five pans these do typically with this pan size retail for $48 so I mean the box is 25 so right here if you're a Natasha Denona fan right here it's worth it so yes now this is really my color story this is perfect neutrals that's my thing so i'm actually glad i got this one because there are two there's jubilee and there's this one called ayana and i was actually glad to see that i got this one now if i can find it here with that high suspicion i started doing some research i wanted to see where these shadows were based from like what palettes they came from so like i said i started doing some research and I knew I should have had this like handy, but I forgot to bring it up. So I did look on Boxy's website and pulled up pictures of the palettes and researched where each pan came from, which each shadow came from, what palette it came from. All right, so in my research here to find the original palettes for these shadows, Ayana, I'm gonna go across, let's see how this goes. So I'm guessing this must be Harlow. So Harlow is from the Glam Mini palette. So if you have the Glam Mini palette, you already have Harlow. Second one here called Lash Line, which is kind of a deeper, kind of neutral, almost cool tone, uh, as you can imagine, is from the Glam palette. So as you see, a lot of these kind of have the Glam palette vibes, yeah. Then we have Satin Skin. Now this is one that I don't have actually, and this is from the larger 28 pan purple blue palette. This one called Satin Skin. So that is the only shadow I don't have. And then next we have this one called Crease, which that is from the Glam palette as well. And as you, I will insert the video I did with the Glam palette, but all of the shadows in the Glam palette were not shadow names. They were shadow locations. So like you have, you know, what they would say to put that on your lash line for like an eyeliner, you know, then this would be your crease shade. So that kind of gives it away right there. But, and then this last one here is actually, which I do have this palette. I think this is the one I have. Oh no, this is the palette I don't have. I'm sorry, the purple blue I do have. The green brown, which is the other 28 pan palette is this one called Glam Green. So really pretty shadows. Uh, I guess I could take a moment here and just, I'm just gonna go across, do all of those. There they are. Starting there, we have Harlow, Lash Line, Satin Skin, Crease, and Glam Green. So I'm gonna start them here and then do 
Ooh, that's pretty. Sorry, not the best swatch. It's kind of hard to do from that angle. But yeah, so there it is. Definitely the color story I like, so I was very happy to have gotten this one. This is one I will definitely use. So, and again, it has a shade that I don't have, whereas the other one has shades that I, I have all these shades on that one. So, yes, yeah, so that is our first item. As it says here, a special edition palette created exclusively for BoxyCharm featuring five ultra pigmented neutral cool tone shades and a range of muted browns with a touch of a sparkling metal green tourmaline. Inspired by the Japanese meaning of Eya, meaning color and design, combined with Na, meaning elegant, graceful, and delicate, it's the perfect everyday palette to create sophisticated, classic looks, as well as evening looks with a super glam finish. Formulated with Natasha's signature blendable, user-friendly formulas and the highest quality pure color pigments, dazzling chroma crystals, and luminous pearls, suitable for every skin tone, cruelty-free, and allergen-free. Again, like I said, MSRP is $48 on that, and it says boxy exclusive, but like I said, they're not exclusive of shades. It's just curated the way it is the palette for boxy. So that is item number one. Second item we have here is Touch and Soul. This is Pretty Filter Icy Sherbert Primer. I'm sure I was saying that right. Very pretty packaging. I believe Touch and Soul is a clean brand as well, if I remember correctly. Very, very pretty. Icy Sherbert Sherbet, it's saying primer, but I thought it was Sherbert. Anyways, lock your looks in place and keep them cool with Icy Sherbet Primer. This gel primer has an instant cooling effect once applied that hydrates and preps skin for makeup. The formula is silicone free with water capturing technology to lock in moisture and leave your skin feeling silky smooth. MSRP $32. There's the packaging here. It has this little cap on it. Oh, kind of looks cool. I like that. There's a little bit on this rim, so I'm just going to use what's here to kind of get a feel. Ooh, it's kind of cool. It is there. Oh yeah, I do definitely feel a little bit of a cooling effect immediately. It's definitely light. Like it doesn't have any residue. It doesn't have any shine to it. It doesn't have any trace of anything. <laughs> so yeah, I don't know, but I will definitely check that out. Let you know, but it's very, very pretty. I love the packaging. So, so that's item number two. Number three is Mally Beauty. Let's be this. Yep. Mally Beauty Ever Color Shadow Stick Extra. So very just light cream based, creamy kind of shadow. These shadow sticks are the queens of multitasking. Stay looking fierce from the minute you put them on until you take them off. It's your primer, eyeshadow, eyeliner, and brush all in one. These customizable shadows will cover, sculpt, and line eyes. Easily blend for a sheer wash of color or layer for more intensity. You can even use them as a beautiful smudging, smudgy eyeliner for a smoldering, smoky eye. So it's super easy to go from day to night. MSRP $25. Now again, this one being the lighter shade, probably could use this maybe for a brow bone or even just an eye primer, maybe inner corner, but it doesn't seem to have any sheen, sparkle, or anything like that to it, so I don't know. But yeah, it's just very like, skin tone color for me, like a creamy, light peachy shade. So I don't know. I mean, I've gotten some products from Mally Beauty, but not all that familiar with them. The next one we have here is Illuminati Cosmetics Liquid Luxe Lip Gloss. Cute little package, definitely different. Looks like just a clear, not sticky, but definitely a thicker formula. It does feel to have maybe a little bit of the plumping effect. Dare to wear alone or on top of another gorgeous lip color, this luxurious lip gloss adds a beautiful shimmer and shine to your lips and elevates your look day and night. Yeah, I do feel a little bit of that like plumping effect, a little bit tingly. Doesn't mention it in there, but just to be aware, it does have that effect. I can definitely feel it. MSRP $21. Not bad. Definitely not sticky, that's good. And then it looks like the last item I have here is Kinder Beauty Kinder Glow Highlighting Palette. This palette includes three universally flattering highlighters and one marble highlighter. The talc-free buttery formula practically melts into your skin, granting a beautiful luminous look with opalescent pearls and a velvet texture. The compact size makes it easy to travel with and allows for an on-the-go glow. MSRP, $15. Okay. I will swatch these real quick. Definitely that top lighter shade, this one here has a very powdery feel. There they are. I mean, it's okay. I don't know, I'll have to try it and let you know. But definitely kind of a powdery, doesn't seem to have that nice sheen, like that really just glowy lit look that I like. So I'll have to see. All right, so do our totals and then we will move on to the next. All right, so Natasha Denota right there, $48. Touch and Soul, $32. 
Mali Beauty $25, Illuminati $21, and Kinder Beauty $15. Total of $121 here, if you can see without the glare. And then again, our box is $25, so $96 value. I mean, not the highest price box, um, but I think, you know, just the fact that it has Natasha Denona, they justify <laughs> it's good enough, you know? So not sad that I have that. Again, only unique color to me is the one eyeshadow that I said is from that green brown 28 pan palette but that's okay yeah so again it's okay not my favorite box probably because again i already have natasha denona so that's really what i would have been excited about but since i already have it and just a quick um if you did happen to get the jubilee just because i did look that one up too and i'll put an insert a picture in here so you can see but the shadows i wrote down would be from left to right you know, my left, right, your, you know, whatever. Anyway, so the first color is Vintage Taupe, which is from the Tropic and the Mini Retro. It's actually in two palettes, so Tropic and Mini Retro palettes. Intense, which is shade number two, is from the Love palette, Limoncello. Shade number three is from Tropic. Enigma, shade four, is from the Metropolis palette. Mint Frost is from the Tropic Mini palette. So, again, if you have any of those palettes and you already have the Jubilee palette, and you can just put it all together and make your own mini palette. So don't be too worried if you didn't get these palettes, if you have Natasha Denona, like I do. <laughs> so anyways, just just quick tidbit on that. Just thought I'd let you know. Intermission. Oh, goodness. Okay, so now on to Ipsy. Ipsy this month. Do -do -do. I don't know about this bag. I mean, not really my vibe, but it's okay. I don't usually keep these bags. Awesome. I think it's only one that I kept or gave to somebody because it was kind of cute. So April 2021, Force of Nature. Here's the card. Five skin friendly superfoods. Oh, that's kind of cool. The insert there. And this one talks about for fine lines, grapes. For dry skin, avocados. For acne prone skin, sweet potatoes. Ooh, I love sweet potatoes. For sensitive skin, chia seeds. And for overall glow, leafy greens. There you go. There's superfood, skin helping ingredients right there. All right. Oh, and I don't know, May's limited edition drop glam bag X Chloe. Welcome to Chloe Kardashian's world from her go-to products to her best kept beauty secrets. A great to glam bag X to get the pampering you deserve. So I do have glam bag X. I did upgrade. I thought I was going to get the last box, which was another, but that's okay. Whatever. So I'll get the next one for me. All right. So again, unfortunately this one, they don't have the products listed right there. But I'm just gonna go down what I have here. First item I have is Then I Met You Calming Thai Gel Cream. Get serious hydration minus all the heaviness with this fast absorbing gel cream. The lightweight formula is packed with ceramides, niacinamide, and peptides to lock in moisture, brighten your tone, and plump and firm skin. Okay, now these little things I have here are like adult proof. So that's what the packaging looks like. So. I guess you gotta lay down flat because it definitely won't sit. <laughs> Anyways, so this item, oh, I guess it's a twist off. That's what the bottle looks like. MSRP on this is $42. Vegan, cruelty free, and all natural. So let's see if I can find space now. Got a little too much. But definitely lightweight, kind of watery, very thin. I don't know if it has a cooling effect or if it just feels cool because it's liquid. Hmm, okay. So that's item number one. Second item we have here is Lauren Conrad, which I feel like I've heard of that. A lipstick in shell. Retails for $20. Sure, this lipstick is the perfect neutral shade and leaves lips soft and moisturized, but can we talk about the packaging? It's made from a single material so you can recycle it without taking it apart. Oh, that's good. That's nice. There it is. It's vegan and cruelty free as well. Swatch. Oh, it's a pretty color. Kind of a mauve -y color. Oh, I like that. To try to let you know. The next item we have is some brushes. Ooh, I always like getting brushes. I mean, not that I don't have enough, but so these brushes are Shayna B Miami retail. Gosh, 60 bucks. Right. Better be good quality for that much. I can buy BH Cosmetics for $15.20 <laughs> for the same eye. Yeah, I don't know about that. I can't say these are worth $60. That's not, that looks very cheaply made. Anyways, compared to the brushes that I buy, I mean, even be, like I said, BH Cosmetics, these 
Beach Cosmetics look better than these. And that, those you can buy a set like this. I just was looking at a set like this for 12 bucks. So I'm not impressed. These aren't worth $60 to me. All right, so this five piece kit has all the tools you need to DIY everything from a subtle daytime look to a glam nighttime smoky eye. Each brush is made with ultra soft synthetic bristles that allow you to blend, buff, and build shadows like a pro. Vegan and cruelty free. But yeah, again, I'm just, I mean, not to say, I mean, they're kind of, they're soft, but I mean, just the way they're cut, it just, they just don't look impressive to me for 60 bucks. So I would not pay $60 for these, I'm just saying. Not that they're bad brushes and I did get them, you know, included, but I wouldn't spend that much money on those. It's just my own opinion. Almost there, guys. Oh, I got another one. I got another palette like this a couple months ago, maybe. Actually, it wasn't a bad palette, but I don't know if I'm saying it right, but the brand is Belle and Argent. Pan Chromatic Eyeshadow Palette in Nude Intuitive Vision. Now, again, I don't know what color is the one I have before is, but I actually did make a look with it. It's actually pretty. Uh, $30. It is eight pans. Yeah, this is definitely different because it's a little bit more warm tone. The other one I have was, had a little bit more of like uh, some reddish tones in there, I think. But uh, shades are on this little plastic that's the only bad thing I hate when they do that because I always throw these away so I won't be able to throw this one away but I will insert some swatches just for time's sake but it says versatile and fuss free this collection of eight neutral eyeshadows can be worn for day or night are highly pigmented and easy to blend and create zero fallout vegan and cruelty free and it has some mixed reviews the very last review we only gave it one star so yeah we'll see don't have too high hopes, I'm just saying. And then the very last item we got here, which I don't think I've heard of this brand, K Voss Hay Highlighter. So this one it retails for $36. Trio of silky powder highlighters. There's a shimmery ivory, pearly pink, and warm gold shade. Blended is skin like butter to give you the ultimate glow up. Vegan, cruelty free, made with all natural ingredients. So there's the packaging, very simple plastic packaging. There's the trio there. And then, so the shades are sugar, spice, everything nice. I am going to go ahead and at least try to swatch these. I just went left to right, like the ones I told you. And see if I can find a spot here on my arm to show you without blending into something else. So you can see that there. That one's definitely a little too deep for me, but if you have a deeper skin tone, that'd be really nice. I do like that it is a little bit more inclusive. It just has a little bit deeper shade to you know, be a little bit more universal. So yeah, I don't know. I'll have to let you know. It doesn't seem to have like kind of the glow that I like or I'm used to, but might not be too bad. All right, so again, this is the Ipsy. This is the second tier bag. So it's a $25 bag equivalent to the BoxyCharm, uh, but it's the plus bag. So, all right. So going down the list here, I'm just going to go because I already have this pulled up. This K-Voss is $36. LN Argent is $30. The brushes are $60, which again, I don't think those are worth $60. The Lauren Conrad lipstick is $20. And that Calming Tide Then I Met You Call me tight, gel, cream, whatever, is $42. So that is a total of $188, minus the price of the bag, 25, which is a difference of 163. So if you base it on value, like price, uh, Ipsy definitely wins. Now, again, depending on what you're looking for, Boxy might win if you're just all about Natasha Denona and just wanted a palette and glad to have one of her palettes, then that probably wins. I don't know. I'm not all that impressed with either one. Like I said, I already have a Natasha Denona palette. It's not a new palette. It's just, you know, some of her already known shades put into, you know, one palette. So I get that, but I'm not that impressed with either one. Otherwise, none of the brands I'm not familiar with other than Touch and Soul. So I don't know. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. But um, I think they're pretty equivalent as far as what I got. But again, Ipsy did come out ahead as far as value. So yeah, so let me know your thoughts down below. Did you get a box or a bag? Let me know. Love to hear what you think. Uh, are you interested in either of these? If you like this kind of video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe down below. Make sure you turn on all notifications that we are loaded on my content. I post most Wednesdays, all Saturdays at 9 a.m. Otherwise, guys, make sure you stay safe, stay healthy, wash your hands, wear your mask, wash your distance. Well, I hope you're having a wonderful day. And I do hope to see you again soon. Bye. As you know, I do post on, wait, no, that's not what I would say. See, I I'm doing, I had a good vibe here. Don't forget to subscribe. Ugh. Oh.
else has freaking dogs. I just want to bark at everything. Annoying. Okay. So I'm gonna try this again. Intermission. They're not gonna stop because they're just insane. All right, we're back from our brief intermission. <laughs> Hope you enjoy the sound of dogs barking in the background. If so, you're welcome. Yeah, okay, that's my life, that's my life, yeah. Anyways, as I was saying, which I don't quite remember what I was saying, but, and yeah, if you haven't seen already, haha, ha, my fancy chair. I love it, oh, oh shoot. <laughs> See, that's what I get, knocking stuff over. Oh, yeah, trying to show, show up, you know? But no, I love this chair from Target. If you need a new chair, it's comfortable, it's so pretty. I'll do a little, show you, insert a little video of this comfy, awesome chair. But anyways, back to the subject at hand. We're gonna do a little tribute to Alex Trebek. Oh yeah, finally found it. Okay. There it is. That's it. Another dog intermission. Sorry. Hold on. Oh goodness. Crazy dogs. Let me know if you can guess what uh, that's from. Like, what beat that's from. What song. Let me know down below. Okay. Obviously turned up enough, so <laughs> woohoo! I mean, I've only had a couple sips. Okay, whatever. Doesn't take much. I like that though. It's boxy versus zipsy. I'm sitting here getting a little tipsy. It's boxy versus zipsy. I'm sitting here getting a little tipsy. Oh, I like that. I should have gone into music. That was my first love. Always has been. Oh, anyways, okay. Enough for missing. And I hope you're having a boo Ugh, beautiful. <laughs> Have a beautiful day. <laughs> Woohoo! Um, I promise you, this hasn't even touched me yet, so it's not the drink. Mm -hmm.